Hello, so um, this is part two of preparing your canvas for the portrait. Um, so I'm out in the hallway outside of our painting room. We will have uh, three actually projectors set up. You can use them anytime you want. They're all near outlets so you can plug them in. Okay. Um, they may be wrapped around in here so just take the cord off. Okay. If you remember, this was uh, the photograph that I was working from. So now at this point, I'm gonna take it off, okay? And then there's my tracing. When you put it on the, uh, on the, the projector, make sure that it has the right orientation, okay? Sometimes it's deceiving. So hold up your photograph, and I'll show you in a minute, but hold up your photograph and make sure that it's, you know, not flipped. Um, it's virtually impossible to paint when they're flipped like that, okay? And then at all three stations, you're gonna have the projector on a cart and you'll just have a drawing uh, board up on the wall. So what you're gonna do is take your canvas, take the cellophane off, okay? And the canvases are in our cabinet. You're gonna put one side in and then another, just like that, okay? It stays up on the wall nicely for you. You're gonna have just a pencil. There are pencils in the drawing room or you could provide your own pencil, all right? Then you're gonna flip your, use the uh, red button and flip your uh, projector on. Again, making sure that it's the right orientation. You can see her hair over on the right, so we're good there. At this point, you can kind of decide what you wanna do, okay? So when you go forward, um, when you go forward, the image gets smaller, and when you go backwards, it gets larger. There's a little wheel over here on the side on the neck of the um, projector, okay, you can see it right here, and when you turn that wheel, the mechanism goes up and down and that will focus it for you. So if we look up on the board right now, if I go up with the wheel, it is now in focus. Now you can see I still have the cellophane on this particular canvas. So if I wanted to go a little larger, I could, okay. Um, if I want to go slightly smaller, I just push it forward, refocus it. And then there I go. I, I fit uh, her on the page right there nicely. Okay. Me personally, I'd probably do it about like this. So it kind of fills the page, making sure her hair doesn't go off the top of the page. And I do it about like that. Okay. Some of you may wish to uh, go with more of a landscape format. If that's the case, you could push yourself over to the right, let's say, and you can make yourself smaller too if you wanted to. Again, refocus and put yourself over like that. And then that would give you the option to do a double portrait, another person or a pet, or you could do a beach scene or Wrigley Field or whatever you want over here. But again, the, the normal, I guess, the most conventional way and the way you see more, most portraits is just kind of about like this. And actually, it's, it's pretty nice to go a little bit larger than life. I find it to be easier for students to do. So that would be about the normal approach right there, okay? Um, again, three stations out here in the hallway. Uh, use the little wheel to focus. Make sure you've got the right orientation. When you go to trace it, you're gonna do it very lightly only dark enough that you're able to see. If your pencil line is a little bit thinner than the projected line, that's okay. Just kind of go down the, the middle of it. All right, make sure you cover everything. Once you're done and you move away and you take your, your piece of plastic off, it's hard to line it back up. So make sure that you do not bump the projector while you're drawing, okay? All right, so um, that should be able to get you everybody started. Again, you can come anytime you want. 24-7 to work on this, so thank you.